Today it's Erev Shavuos, so everybody's got a lot of work to do, getting ready for Yontiv. And um, so, uh, and a lot of Kabbalah Satora. So, um, and anybody you can just sit and learn all day. Obviously, the Achana for Kabbalah Satora is very important. Just want to share a quick thought. Um, Chazal tell us, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, Medrash, a Gemara and Shabbos brings it down, that um, when, our, when the Akash Baruch was giving the Torah to the world, everything in the world was at a standstill. Everything's quiet. The Goyim became very worried. What's happening? Is Akash Baruch going to bring a Mabel to the world? Is he destroying the world? What's happening? So where did they go? They went to Bilam. Bilam is the Chacham of the Goyim. And they go to Bilam and say, Bilam, what's happening? Is Hashem going to destroy the world? Bilam says, no, don't worry. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving Torah to Klai Yisrael. And the whole world is at a standstill, listening, hearkening to what Hashem is going to say to the Jewish people. So, Rav uh, Chesko Abramsky says, why did they think there was going to be a marble? What, what, what was it that the Goyim thought? So he says, a very interesting shot. He says, the Goyim knew that Hashem was giving Torah. However, HaKadosh Baruch had already offered the Torah to the Goyim. And all the Goyim rejected Torah. So the Goyim said to Bill, and maybe Akarish Barko is going to destroy the world because we rejected the Torah. So Bill said, no. No. He's not going to destroy the world. He's giving the Torah to Klai Yisrael. And the whole world is attentive and listening to the Torah being given to Klai Yisrael. This teaches us a very interesting thing. The Goyim, the nations of the world, don't want Torah. They don't want it because Torah is a responsibility. When they're told, oh, he's giving it to the Jewish people, oh, okay, we don't care if he gives it to the Jewish people. Let, him, let the Jewish people have it. But don't bother us with it, right? We don't want to have that yoke of, 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 of responsibility upon ourselves. That is the world. And that is Matan Torah. The world has always hated the Jewish people for one reason. My Rebbe explained, because the Jewish people are the conscience of the world. Because we teach that there's something called morality. There's something called honesty. There's something called godliness. The world doesn't that's why they rejected the Torah. Don't, don't put these responsibilities on them. When they say it's on Klai Yisrael, oh, fine, let them have it. We don't mind. This is throughout history. Arayom. They're going to have a court in Hague to try the Jewish people, to try Israel for defending themselves. They're not going against Klai Yisrael. They're going against God. Jewish people stand for godliness because the Jewish people represent Torah. That's why they're against it. They don't care. Let the Jewish people have it. Oh, we'll fight against the Jewish people because it all comes from the same source. Don't put the responsibility on me. And as long as the Jewish people stay by themselves and let themselves be killed so they don't bother us, but as soon as the Jewish people go ahead and show they're strong, and they show that godliness has a strong place in the world, oh, that can't be. We can't accept that. Shavuos puts things in perspective. At the same time, it's our perspective. Because we have to realize that what life's all about and what the world is all about is the Jewish people with HaKadosh Baruch Hu's Torah that's what it's all about. That's what makes the world run and turn. And that's the ichor. When we look at life, 
when we look at history, when we look at everything, we have to recognize it's all around that one point. The Jewish people have Torah, and they say, we don't want it. What do we have to strengthen ourselves on? Torah. Because when we have Torah, then even the Goyim know, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with us. It bothers them, but they recognize it. So we also have to recognize it. Shavuos, Kabbalah Torah, that pivot upon which all world history turns. Have a good Shavuos.